It's September 14th, 2021. Something happened to my ear. Now all of a sudden it's really itchy. Um, side note, I just got back from the park, September 14th, 2021. And, um, so it must have been a chain reaction when the boy ran into Nucci yesterday because now all of a sudden he overheated again today. And the pressure gradient shows a in my spectrum a white dot and then it all overheats here he gets diaphoretic which means sweaty over here in layman's terms um and so that happened now um tonight is something um normally when you um i saw it i mean like i fell out of a vagina into a, a mother who uh, was a hairdresser and knew nothing except hairdressing school and a father who had a really great dad but I don't know he apparently wasn't allowed in the acting actor studio or anything important so he got side sta saddled uh, in the white Italian category of dumb fucking useless and dangerous putts who futs around with the children. So, um, what happens is they, in my lifetime, it went from respectable private house banking, um, with FDIC insurance on, you put the money in the bank, it's a institution of strength and they hire you, they whatever, and whatever, whatever, and you build your nation that way. There was some company involvement, but it was paper generated with big old, it used to be big elaborate libera bonds with seals and like, like wax seals and like really professional. And I mean, you really... You felt honored. It was an honorable profession back then. It's not now. Now they're just all a bunch of pieces of shit. And they've got degenerate, like, sh shit-ass lawyers that have grown. All right, so there's something called SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange Commission. They're supposed to be the lawmen. <laughs> I don't see it. Then there's something called NASD. Uh, I could come up with a whole bunch of different acronyms, but whatever on that one. Then there's something called NASDAQ. Then there's NYSE. All of these things, and that's New York Stock Exchange. All these things happen in the state of New York on something called Wall Street in New York. I think that every degenerate grandparent and parent has heard of these things. I could be wrong. My degenerates are way worse, most likely, than yours because I'm at the epicenter of criminal criminality trying to avoid it, but getting stuck underneath the collapse of humans being anything good or family-oriented. Um, so now there's something called a DJIA, a Dow Jones Industrial average. I don't know if that's like the criminals banking version. It's not even banking anymore. Now it is casino gambling like on the slot machines. There's some backward algorithm that goes on here, but it is not sustainable and it's not reputable by any stretch of the imagination. There's a word called Dow, other than the Dow Jones industry average. Industry normally takes um, orders, um, and there's a dowry, which is kind of your stipend that you work off of. Now, the Dow Chemical Exchange, oh, these are a bunch of, oh, these were protecting the crown 
type of reputables before they became degenerately involved in this disgusting diarrhea slide down uh, where they can't even find a reputable law enforcement agency to help them out with what they need. There's something called a put. That's where you have an option to sell something. If you put a Z at the end of put, it's called putts. <gasps> it's like Lyndon Lou <laughs> in everything I've grown up around. Then there's something called a call. That's the option to buy something. Then there's something called a foot. F fut fut. I mean, I call it a futz. F F U T. And if you put a Z, it you futz. And those are the futures. Now, why would I want a putz like Lou or Linda that I don't trust and who's not connected to anything smart globally, any kind of uh, religious organization? They're not tied to any government organization. They're not tied to relatives and heraldry and lineage elsewhere. They are manuring, you heard me correctly, they're shitting blind every day they wake up with no purpose. Now, why would I want though that layer of putts? I mean, I fell out of her vagina. I didn't have a choice. But why would I want that as my custodial guide to my future? And what kind of a guide, where do you think I'm going to wind up when they take part in this unnatural behavior of criminality? I'm in the epicenter of it. I have no line or guide out. It's the only thing I've witnessed, and I'm... So I'd say expert in and then I've got um, I studied it I tried to see what the entire process was with when you buy but a stock I did a stock but the stocks are called brokerage house b-r-o-k-e a-g-e-h-o-u-s-e that doesn't sound like that is stock strong like a Clivesdale. It sounds like you wanted to break the crown before I even arrived by setting up the futs this way with the putzes making the puts and the calls from some locker room that nobody knows about. Defending a crown that clearly was negligent and left out on the New York landscape and is now under a pile-up <laughs> of people claiming the ball's theirs. Um, so the stock exchange runs off of an SPIC. Now, there's an interesting language discrepancy. If I say it as I've heard the Latino market in the coffee color that has a lot of milk in it. Like, let's say J-Lo, who, I mean, she considers herself Latina. That color, and a little darker, I've heard uh, refer to themselves as SPIC, S-P-I-C. Now, I'm wondering, is that a spin to make yourself look bad or to get some kind of go or, like, grit on an argument? Because no, I didn't ever hear anybody call you that. In fact, S and the word P-I-C means it's a picture of some skin in some game and some law enforcement agency I can't seem to name or find at the moment. But I know they're big in the movies as, like, Kingsman and James Bonded and... They usually say things like British, but I don't know, is that Br Broccoli Spears Britney? Or, because there's a celebrity Britney, and that's a whole fucking nightmare within itself. Um, so now, let's think about this. Alright, so now I got futzes and putzes. So now, Lynn's retiring from, get this, right? He used to be Douglas Bremen when Lou owned DB in Roslyn, back when I was a youngin, before my life before they decided to futz and putz with my future and really fuck my life up and end the landscape here in New York. Um, so now there's, um, Lynn works, it was Merrill Lynch when I was there. Then it changed hands at some point, Bank of America, a bank with an FDIC got involved with an SIPC 
wealth management service in things that shouldn't touch but go bump in the night. And so now all of a sudden Bank of America is running a wealth management service, but Chase is no better. Chase Manhattan Bank and something in JP Morgan, they bumped uglies and then somehow got a wealth management bug and disease. So now I got Bank of America no better than Chase, and Chase banks internationally, they caught that bug, that venereal disease, as did Bank of America. So now, um, just curious, at ventral, this is where the ventral and the xiphoid process, the sternum, right? It's where you get reflux and indigestion when, like, things go wrong at, like, your house, <laughs> right? Okay, so I fell out of a vagina that was involved in a degenerate gambling ring that dressed in suits called themselves lords of london at one point and lied to everybody and started giving people money and banking notes and things that shouldn't have and it's gone viral and it's a real problem with angel investors and things now she won't invite me to her um to, she won't invite me to her retirement party tonight from her degenerate gambling job. Well, she was a supporter of it because she supported all of the criminals in their taking care of only their grandkids and retirements and fucking my future over completely. Where I don't even have a job. I don't even have a future. I don't have a retirement account. I don't have access to 1% that I belong in for protecting myself and the crown from all the degenerates that are leeching off of it. Um, and every time it feels like the law enforcement arm comes out in order to try to grab me or grab something around me, it feels like all the children start to bite the fingers and ask lots of questions, and then they're like, that's great, and then they go out and they come up with more dumb, stupid fucking ideas to sell us more garbage and to break the system even more as a money-making opportunity. And now, like Pavlov's dog in America, they seem to get used to this, and so keeping me in a derelict position seems to be the way to go, which it's not in universal speak. So now, I'm not allowed to go, but now, here's the thing. My, the uh, career that she chose, which I didn't want to be part of, I, I went off and I studied and I, tr I tried my hand at real estate. At least I was in front of lawyers. <laughs> the lawyers on Long Island, they hide. Anyway, so I, um, they were just real estate professionals and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to assume they didn't know any other law since they didn't say that they did. And none of them tapped me on my shoulder and said who I should really contact to get myself out of this situation and in a better position for my children than my own family and for them by extension once I get out of this. Um, so now, um, Linda wants Benjamin and Alexander, Daniel can't go because he's up in college, but Benjamin and Alexander to go tonight to Bank of America to her retirement party to celebrate with her and all of her accumulated friends and community throughout the years. Right, so, and then she wants Nucci as well. Now here's the thing. My parents are absolute shitbags. I know they seem like such wonderful people on like the surface of you're all involved in something fraudulent and really dangerous. However, um, it's added up to my future being absolutely nothing because you putzes have futzed around with so much future that I get, I've had absolutely no access to inherit anything that I deserve. So now all I've inherited now is a muscular dystrophy and that goes back to charitable and non-charitable donations. And the timing's perfect with Tammy Faye Baker and some fraudulent thing in the 80s you shitbags all took down that then caused even more f problems. So now more barriers you all ripped down in the wrong fucking avenue, dumbasses. So now, um, I'm think I said to one of, I said to this guy, Justin, who's not in my genetic heritage closet or lineage, but I, but again, I speak to everybody because I'm not discriminative, like some of the whatever. Um, so I informed him of my situation and I said, you know, normally 
like she's blocking me from going to this event to see people that I know uh, and to support her in Bank of America and her retirement, even though it's caused mass chaos in my life. But she wants, she doesn't want to invite me, but she wants her grandchildren to like sit there and support her like she's such a great person because they're really great kids and they're mine. I was like, but now the kicker is when my children were born, I didn't kick her out of their life. I told her that the degenerate shitbag Lou couldn't come into my life, but she could stay and get to know her grandchildren. So I at least allowed her that. And then I said to Justin, I'm like, I'm thinking that was the worst option ever. I think if my kids would have never gotten to know her, we all would have been in a better place because then Lou would have had no arm in and it wouldn't have been underhanded and disgusting and I wouldn't have been sold a marriage that to a rapist that I didn't need to be part of. And then furthering into a business arrangement with some Tia Frio shitbag that I don't need to be part of either. But she needed to, so this way the house would, she'd have comfortability. But then they all sold it out from underneath me and left me homeless. These are not honorable people, but this is what I was fucking saddled with. With no help, no mentor, no guide, no hand out, no hand up. And no fucking sight, nothing in sight that looks like it should be. Now, where do I go from here, all area dumb fucking useless? I'm just curious. Because your banking system and banking department in New York and the state of New York and America and this U.S.A. is not supportive of any of the features that it needs to be. There's some charitable do organization called ALS. There's one for Parkinson's. There's one for MS. What they combat, I have no idea. They raise money for these things, and then whose salaries are they paying? Because I'm the one who could cure it, but I'm headed straight for the disease set into my genetics because of all these other pieces of the puzzle that are out, like a rubrics that got all broken up and I know how it needs to go back together but I'm not even being asked or shown who I need to speak with in really important places. I've been held and kept almost on a football field with a whole pile up and I'm the football at the bottom because of all sorts of st stupid human issues. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza at Planetary Arrest. So I have Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken.